Isn't emergency triage supposed to be fast? So I'm pretty sure someone asked me to try double explosive crossbow. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything. You keep dying when you find Valmont's whip blueprint. No. The busted item. Ammo sucks. That feel when you actually have ammo. Worst thing is take a bunch of blueprints and forget to return. Oh man. So one thing that they did in playing five cell. So exclusive to five cell is that blueprints are turned in automatically just by walking by. And everyone was saying, please, please make this a real thing for every difficulty. I should not be punished for getting to talk to an NPC. But the devs, uh... <laughs> they had other things in mind. That's not important. Or more so, get good. How dare you not talk to our NPCs. And yeah, I can, I can kind of see that. Sure. My bad for not talking to every NPC every single time I see them. Big oops. Struggling to find a good build on one BC. And... Is that one specific color? I'll wait. So like, are you already trying to go tactics and you're struggling to find a good tactics build for yourself? In general. And then I guess the other question would be, are you playing custom mode or normal? That was a lucky parry. I actually that fingered it. I did not mean to press triangle at all. Okay, it's dad bod. So norms. It's a little tough to quote unquote find a good build in norms because it is RNG. So a lot of times when I play, we're just using whatever sounds right. So for example, I just got this seismic sword. I have to think to myself, do I really want to play Explosive this game? Or can I play Seismic? And because the Seismic isn't, you know, super high level over the Explosive, neither one is really much better than the other. So I'm gonna sell it, and hopefully that thousand gold goes towards something else. But really, a lot of time, I just play what sounds right at the time. So half of what I do is I kind of play whatever feels fun at the day. And then the other half is I play what I think can get me through the bio. <laughs> like if I'm going in a slumbering sanctuary and I don't have some kind of way to handle a golem, then that's a problem. And in that case, I probably shouldn't be going slumbering sanctuary. But... We might do it anyway. Might take an L for it. It's fine. There are plenty of builds out there though. We've had a lot of success with heavy crossbow. Really everything that's on that tier list has been pretty successful at the top of the list. I'm actually gonna try parting gift with the rocket. I've never done this build before, and it's really early in the stream, so I kind of want to experiment. As always, Parting Gift is technically a, a colorless mutation, even though it's listed as tactics, and it shows tactics damage, 
which is 99 damage. You can see it right here. Truth be told, it's gonna do a lot more than 99. It's gonna do whatever my green survival tells me to do. Of course that one missed. Oh, you like the parting gift with the explosive? I've never tried this. Wow, targeting OP. And right now, my explosive crossbow is a little weak, uh, but hopefully it gets stronger. Okay. <laughs> Step one. Oh, so those just went hand in hand for you. All right, that's pretty cool. That's one thing I like about this game is just experimenting. Wow, look at that tornado though. <laughs> Wait, everything's just falling off. Wow, holy crap, that was a beast mode tornado. Calculated. Sell that. Damn it. <laughs> What's the opposite of V.60? Oh, two parting gifts did just about his health. Didn't completely kill it. But it did pretty good damage. I think. Bring a Keanu skin to Dead Cells. Gotta get the sad Keanu in here. The John Wick skin in Dead Cells. Do they know what John Wick is in France? They should, right? Or at least into the Matrix. Oh, we got that 60. Wow. <laughs> that elite is right on top of it. Okay. We got this. Doing great, just passed by Arbor in Germany. Don't really know what the equivalent is in US. It's called Arbiter. No, just past your Arbiter. Is that like a university thing? A diploma? Or certification? You need the arbor to get to university. So maybe an exam of some sort. Either way, big congratulations. Definitely deserve some easy claps. We will find out what an arbiter is in Germany. 
But good job, Kata. Definitely wishing you good luck once you get into university. Keep up the good work. I was really trying to make sure I didn't get hit there. I don't think it would have mattered a whole lot if I took a hit. Probably would have been from the missiles anyway, and I think that's fine. <laughs> don't try that at home. Like, that was probably not worth it. I mean, I'm happy it worked out, but real dangerous gameplay right there. Wow. So far, so bad. This is what Dad Bod was talking about with finding a good build. Right now, the build's okay. Like we are clearing. Not really anything to be excited about. And usually that's when you're really, you know, feeling it. Is when you have a build you can actually feel good about. Close? <laughs> I mean, I've been doing that a lot lately, where you just charge up the shot and then look back and forth. It's like, I don't know who to shoot at. You know I might take the Valmont in the secondary slot. Even though the Cudgel is really, really good on Prison Depths. Do it. Wow, we lose two green for that. So that's gonna cost me a reset. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, so. As I said, sometimes you have to invest. If you know what your build is gonna be, you may have to just. I mean, you can't force the game to give you stuff, but try your hardest. So. That's gonna pay for the resets. Increases move speed for five seconds after getting a crit. It's real interesting. So yeah, real easy claps for a Katahdin fish. Which I'm pretty sure I'm saying incorrectly. Ooh, got him. Wow. I whipped out. I didn't even kill him. Okay, that works. So I'm a little weak because of the tornado. I definitely need more green. Oh, wow. Wait. How do you beat? Okay. I was about to say, how do you win? How do you win? But apparently we figured it out.
<laughs> pressing down was apparently what you're supposed to do. Maybe this is how you're supposed to play. Maybe I'm supposed to just knock everything off. <laughs> so sad. I don't even know if I can kill that guy. Like, that's actually a difficult enemy. And it's twins, are you kidding me? Oh, I thought I froze both. Oh my god. I hate these. Rip run incoming. All I got was a torch out of that. Like if there was any way to die, that would have been it. Or maybe a box. I think a... Imagine the same box that we got against the knife thrower on that guy. Like actually... Troll. Like some dev is out there just actively trying to kill us. All right, we found it. Um, I'm actually not gonna take it just yet. I actually shouldn't have even spent that money. Now the question is, do I die in the challenge room? All that hard work, and we might just lose it all right here. Fulfill the dream. I'm gonna use a health pot. I am so, like, un non confident. Oh yeah, we definitely would have taken a hit. Yep. <laughs> that would have been the death. <laughs> I had to. But what I'm actually looking for is this. Because we might get a free one that's cursed. The all black whip. Black on black. That ain't it. It's close. Awfully close, but that ain't it. Alright. Let's get out of here. And then we'll be back in the game. Alright. Yeah, they weren't quite on the same map. But they found each other hand in hand once again. All right. So I do need to get green. I think one green is fine. I don't really have enough money to fish for much more. Look at the rainbow mutations, though. You can't tell me that's clean mutations we got going on. <laughs> they were lost after the war, separated. Orphans. Adopted by the uh, enemy faction. The enemy tribe. Alright. So that's why, that's the Whole Foods. Not take any chances. I almost have to remember how to use this again. Oh, 
<laughs> I think I learned how to use it. You press square and stuff dies. Pretty sure how this... Pretty sure that's how it works. If anyone out there knows like any better way to use the double Valmont, please let me know. You can even walk up the thornies and just hit them for free. There's literally no wrong way to play this. Whatever the enemy is, it can be flying, it can be underground, it can be shielded, it can have spikes. Doesn't even matter. Um, this is a little dangerous. But I'm pretty sure that's the right call. I'm not gonna pay money for that. Is this another curse? Yeah, it is actually. We're stacking, boys. Fellas. Ladies. Everyone out there. 20 curse. And we have at least one more curse left, so that's 30. Before it's all over. Look at me rolling behind him like that actually does something. <laughs> I think that's a bad habit. Like, I don't know how to, like, not roll behind them. Oh, if I do this, do I still have to do a Curse Sword run? That guy was trolling. Alright, five more. There's the elite. I was pretty positive we would see one before the curse ended, so I'm really glad we can fight it while not being cursed. <laughs> that is so good. I thought I saw some explosions and I got real worried. We got that V.60 though. Ooh, three shot it. Hold up. Giant killer who? Who's out here still using giant killers in 2019? Where's all my, uh, my double V, V for Valmont? Um, and I'm using my PS4 controller right now. So, like, clearly, I like it. It's just I'm playing Dead Cells. And I can't seem to stop. <laughs> Need help. What about a Switch? I also have a Switch. We were playing Smash for a long time. That's, that's like our family console, so we play Smash, we play a uh, co-op game called Snipper Clips, Overcooked 2. We're pretty decent at Overcooked 2. I'm talking like we're high silver, low gold in uh, Overcooked 2. So I'm also excited for, um, well she's more excited about Animal Crossing than I am. But there's all kinds of like really cool games. Let's go back.
Holy crap. I'm scared. This dude's trolling. He's gonna jump. Yep. Oh my god. Look at that. That is the worst thing I've ever seen. It's fine. Like, I don't need the, the no hit that badly. But come on now. Thank you, Flawless. Thank you, Crusher. Alright. So there are curses on this map. The only issue is, is that there's like two elites. I think this is the Whole Foods. Yeah. There's like two elites before you actually open the curse. So I want to make sure I don't screw myself over. Get out of here with that. Arbiter who? So I actually thought they were kind of done not showing gameplay. to say this guy is actually ducking and dodging me like back when connect was getting introduced that's basically the year i'm talking about i think i can take the curse after this elite ah uh, he actually went backward Oh, get him, worm. Shoot, I don't have to do. Never mind. I was about to say, I don't have to do anything. The worms got me. I was so hyped for No Man's Sky when I saw that trailer. Because almost like this, that's what I want to do. I want to hop in, no idea what's going to happen, and just go. Same thing when I play Fallout games. I don't really care about Fallout story. I just want to load in and go through like some abandoned factory. Yeah, like fun, complete random. We didn't know what was going on. And like maybe Fallout 76 does that. Who knows? <laughs> I don't think anyone on the planet knows what happens in Fallout 76. Trying to think of the best way to get to these without them having damage resistance. There's also an invisible guy. There we go. Quadruple damage on the twin dagger. How's that even happen? 47? That's fairly strong, by the way. I mean, I'm pretty sure this does nothing. So, for example, we go against, um... Really, any of these enemies I'm about to fight. A golem. And I am playing survival, so if you think about it, I could probably do something. I'm gonna leave it. I could probably do something because I'm playing survival with a weapon like that. I'm gonna have the HP bar to protect me. I'm not taking the curse just yet. I kind of need to evaluate the rest of the map. Figure out where the elites are. I mean, times four sounds fun. I'm just a little worried about fighting Timekeeper. 
Shoot, I might die right here. Nope, that's fine. Okay. okay. Just don't worry about me. Of course. I thought it was possible to have the timing. It looks like it can. Or just whatever. Okay. Is that 10 is like in their first three? Oh yeah, everything's protected again. Alright, so I'm actually going to take the curse now. First 7, and after that 9. See, I skipped 9 too, so I just didn't play a lot of Final Fantasies. I'm sure the game's going to be awesome. But I would be a poser. If I came in here saying, oh yeah, FF7, best game ever, I would definitely be a fraud. Alright, so let's actually go back. This is curse number two. I think there's a random chance to get three curses, but it's super nice to have the curses early. Alright, I see some Arbiters, Bombardiers, there we go, it's a little scary, I should have gone for the one shot, like ASAP, but I honestly wimped out. And that's the worst thing about this map, is when you have no confidence, <laughs> Can definitely get killed. What other weapons are good to have mapped on the same key? So double boy, um, double kunai, double Valmont, double ice shard. Double boomerang. You can really, any throwable item, you can also like dual wield with other stuff. So like boomerang on the left hand, Molotov on the right hand. As far as melee weapons go, and this is one of the things that someone even made a reddit post about. I'm actually not sure like what are the limits of dual wielding melee weapons. Wow, he didn't even appear on the screen. What we do know is that weapons with a combo don't really do well. Dual wielded. I don't really think I need to go caverns this game. We can just do Sepulchre. Caverns take super long, but the build is already like pretty solid. Oh, whoops. This is not Sepulchre. We don't do Clock Tower anymore. That place is banned. For those who don't know, I normally stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So this is day two of the stream. If you like Dead Cells, if you like Hades, which I will be swapping to in the next game. Feel free to follow. I also have the YouTuber. I'm gonna try to start posting YouTube videos every week. Not that I'm like really inconsistent with it, but it's a goal. It's nice to have goals. So that's one nice thing about going Sepulchre. 
There's like no work involved. All the enemies melt. The only thing about it is that there's multiple curses. So at some point you have to start thinking about leaving enemies. Because you want to be able to go back and clear as much as you can. Um, I'm already getting gold per cell. Is this the first curse? Alright, I have to kill all of these. Unfortunate. Um, let's wait out the five, and then I'm gonna try to bum rush for the curse chest. So long as the shield elite doesn't screw me over with my powerful grenade, I should be okay. There we go. I was like, where's the big dude? <laughs> big dude, nice and late. I'm actually one video away from posting Double Valmont on YouTube. Definitely trying to open some eyes and open some brains. Every time we post a video. And that's like my goal. I think my favorite part about posting anything on YouTube is when it's something that doesn't make sense. Videos are awesome when it's like definitely never gonna win, ever. Okay, second curse. Like I said, I thought one of the curses was not behind the door, um, but seems wrong. Clear though. The reset. Oh, look at all these bats. I didn't kill them all. How's that happen? Alright, it's boss time. 99 kills and a timekeeper ain't one of them. Hopefully, it's gonna be one. Let's make Timekeeper the 100th kill. $300,000. V.0 just like V.60. <laughs> V.60 works as an age emote as well. I do think it's time to reset. We're gonna pay the thousand. And we're gonna go for the finale build which is dead inside, Necro, and then the actual hidden technology. This is something you'll never see anywhere else on Twitch or YouTube. Instinct of the Master of Arms. I didn't even know it had that extra of the, I thought it was just instinct at arms. I don't know what I used to call this. Um, but we're using stuff that does really well with cooldown. As I just wasted a freaking grenade. So ideally, we're gonna trap Timekeeper and just whip her up. Whip her up like a old, uh... What do you do with egg when you whip it? Is that the creme friche? Yeah. 
No, not whisk. Like you actually use the wicking machine. And the egg turns all like foamy. Airless is saying meringue. Meringue. <laughs> like a good meringue. Thank you, Celeste. Give me that meringue. Beat the egg. Give her some of that S and M. Why do you keep making me go? <laughs> oh, look at the critical. Look at me eat all of that damage. I'm trolling. All right, we gotta dodge this. I'm not in crit range. Oh yeah, I forgot she actually spins. That's fine. Whatever, look at... <laughs> I completely threw that fight. Imagine if I wasn't playing survival, how that would have gone. I hope you guys aren't in here for like actual learning. Regressing. I'm pretty sure everyone who just saw that fight just got knocked down 1 BC. <laughs> Whatever BC you were in just now, forget it. You're definitely getting demoted because I just got like completely demoted just then. Alright. What if you're on 0 BC? You actually get a refund. You watch the stream, and I did so terribly, they actually refunded you your money. No, wait. Get you that... I just earned you $25 with that, with that technical win. Enjoy. Look at how far up I get launched. Like, that's so screwed up. Wow, that was a really good amulet. Gold as well as a cell. Freezes enemies. Look at the Arbiters, though. Any Arbor fans in the chat? Arbor cosplayers? Imagine seeing someone cosplaying this at PAX or um, Anime Expo. Would you take a picture with an Arbor cosplayer? If you do, please send that to me on uh, Twitter. Uh, do I always go survival? No. I honestly go whatever the game tells me to go. It's just a Yaoi hands cosplay. <laughs> yeah, Connie in here, on point. with the instant classics. Yeah, see, not having the melee mutation leaves me a little less room for error. Oh, wow. I actually failed to get up that. Uh, but... Anyway, back to the question that Celeste was asking about which build do I prefer. So I honestly look at my starting item, look at the rest of the stuff in Prison Quarters, and honestly, I will take whatever the game says I'm playing for that game. If I see, like, a really good tactics item in Prison Quarters, I'm going tactics that game. 
if I see a good survival weapon, I'm using that. If I'm kind of undecided, so let's say I get something super generic, like a, ba a balance blade, and then some turrets, I'll probably still put my points into brutality, and then try to figure out what the build is going to be later. Because some days I don't want to use tactics, even though I got double turret. And that just happens every once in a while. It's an RNG game. Alright, Ramus, what you got? I can't even crit this guy. <laughs> That's gotta be bad. Arbiters deserved it? They deserved being an endangered species? That's messed up. Arbiter ain't do nothing to nobody. They know what they did. Come on. Look at it. Think of your grandchildren that are never gonna know the Arbiter. Or your grandchildren's grandchildren. Growing up in a world without Arbiters. Oh wow. Rank 11 Valmont Whip. Surely this is better than something. 140,000 damage bonus. Holy crap. 140 million damage. Going right into Hand the King's mouth. Oh, I could remap to show them. That's. It's real smart, Kami. Thank you. I uh, did not think of that at all. Another S rank item that we're gonna sell. All right, so. Right now we have the Valmont listed on one button. Um, I'm gonna split them into the two buttons so you can kind of see the attack speed. This is what looks like normally an angel. That's me spamming. And then when we swap, it looks like this. And if you think about it, with something like the wolf trap, the more crits you can get out during the wolf trap's duration, the better. Regardless of like having a shield or something like that, because with the shield, yeah, I could try to reposition myself and try to get like the angle to get the crit. But instead, I can just do this. Like, it doesn't really matter if I don't get the crit because it's gonna do massive damage. All right, it's boss time. I'm not full health. I'm only like 500 health away. And the goal here is honestly just trap them and try to land the crits. It's really not rocket science. I wish it was. I'm gonna kill this. I was about to say, give me the crits, please. Let's wait. Yeah. Oh, he spun? Oh, give me the no hit. That's what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> Double Valmont. And I, again, I missed a ton of crits there. But it's okay because you do massive damage. You just tie the, you hog tie him with the Valmont. Freest hand of the king in all the land. Literally handing the W to you, to us, me and chat. We both deserve that win. Hand the king was like, oh, you need a, a no hit? We, we got you. Okay. Look at how weak this tonic is, by the way. Rank six tonic when we have rank like Actually, all my stuff is low level, <laughs> except the one Balmont. That's that's kind of screwed up. Hashtag exclamation mark percent dollar exclamation We're not taking this tonic, by the way. That is blaspheme. Ooh. 200 in a row? That's next level. Like, I can't even imagine beating... Kirby. Kirby Superstar Ultra 200 times in a row. Not that I'm an expert Kirby player or something, but you know. I can't imagine doing anything 200 times in a row. That's already next level. Oh, get crit. I mean, I play League of Legends, so maybe that's the same thing. As long as you're enjoying it, that's a real victory. Same. Dungeons and Final Fantasy 200 times in a row. I can see that. The game might track how many expert roulettes you've done. Oh, Dead Cells? Yeah, but we're crazy. <laughs> crazy for even playing Dead Cells in the first place. So that's the first mistake. Hey, get back here. Get your crits like the rest of them. Except I didn't actually crit them at all. Really? Do I have a favorite survival build? In version 1.2, I think this is it. Again, Double Valmont isn't troll anymore. This is actual, like, if you see the Valmont, you go for it. Now, I'm not telling everyone that you should be playing Double Valmont, uh, but honestly, like, no troll, this is my new favorite survival build. Wow, I almost screwed that up. Um, now I was saying that in version 1.1, Double Boomerang was the hit. But now that Double Boomerang has been nerfed, I really feel like this is the new... the new dubs. Hey, how's it going, Rillo? Yeah, this is the build of the gods. This is what this is the build they were trying to create in Full Metal Alchemist. The Philosopher's Stone. It grants you double Valmont with. Um, I might be able to fight him straight up. Let's wait the five. Teaching teachers right now? So what kind of title is that, Asunder?
Like, if there's a title that goes along with it, what would you call yourself? Or, like, if you were to put that on a resume, what would you call that? Let's pull this. And I'm gonna fight the bird straight up. I've made a lot of fatal errors against that exact bird every single night. No blueprints. We'll pay for blueprints. Someone please give me a blueprint. Get some easy claps in the chat. Always love hearing that you guys are succeeding. I feed off that success. That success is the only way I can win in Dead Cells. As soon as you guys stop succeeding, I start dying. As I said, I'm gonna keep killing them that way. Until something goes wrong. I wonder... This generates a toxic cloud around the target and deals bonus damage to poison. I actually wonder if we toss the powerful grenade and use the crusher. Elevator kill seems messed up. Yeah, big thinkies on that one, real out. Because I definitely have done it that way every single night. And until the devs come in here and tell me never do it again, I'm gonna keep doing it. Because I feel like that is like the most, not that it's cheap. I don't do it because it's like a cheesy way to kill them. I honestly do that because it's fun. Like that is a super entertaining way to handle that fight. Okay. So I think we're good. I'm gonna check one more spot to make sure there's no elite. Just run the same Valmont build but replace Wolf Trap with Hunter's Grenade? That means I have to play custom mode. And like, I, I wanted to get this blueprint casually. I didn't wanna have to try. But the game is claiming that I have to actually try. And maybe I do that over the weekend. I don't know, would you guys actually want to see me get the blueprint? Or are you okay with me like doing that on my own time? You'd rather see it? No, you'd rather me just get it. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I left a thingy. An amulet. And I remember one of the amulets was actually viable. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. We're dead. Someone's dealing damage. Payload. Get on the payload. Where are my Overwatch players at? Um. So even though I get a health bonus, I go from 46 up to 58? 58 million HP. That's gotta be good. Alright, it's boss time. Alright, so I have 27 million dollars. So I'm pretty stacked. The in game build is dead inside. Vengeance. And. Instincto no Shoja no. What's master? Is that like shoujo? Starts with a a show, doesn't it? I honestly don't think I reset any of this stuff. Everything I have here is actually busted. Like maybe I could mess around with this, but it's honestly really good on its own. Oh, bonus damage to poison, you're right. 
payload is right. We need bonus damage here. Um, I lost my 20% crit though, but 100% is better than 20%. Not bad, not bad. We got some damage in here. Oh my god, I remember. Okay. I remember this used to be Yo. I could have afforded the extra health pot. I could have, but I really wanted to go kind of crazy on rerolls, but apparently I didn't really have to spend that much money. So let's go give him the medicine. Give him that SM. Where's my fan art after this? I want to see some S&M fan art between Dead Guy and the Collector. I'm really curious on how Crusher is going to work on this guy. If it actually stuns him, I think this is going to be the freest game ever. If it doesn't stun him in place, then I feel like we might be kind of in trouble. Only because like I'm missing a button. Alright, but let's get that medicine. All right, rip no hit. Again, this is shieldless. I thought I could roll past that, but I was wrong. Oh, get crit. I'm not gonna waste a cooldown here. Look at that attack speed though. Oh wait, this is super troll. Wait, Crusher's legit. I'm going to use a health pot here. Rip no hit. Look at the poison though. Give me that. Ooh. That ain't right. Just hit him. That damage ain't right. That damage is something special. Was it stunning him out of his attacks? I said it was troll because he would stop and I thought he would send out more missiles afterward. So I was actually a little worried that the game was gonna troll me. But, yo, free. Yeah, I took damage. I mean, if I was cursed, we would have died. Sure, whatever, that's fine. But there's no way you can lose that. You equip the double Valmont, wrap one around them, and then you just hit him. <laughs> now the foot fetish s and <laughs> You guys are way too quick. Really? You're not supposed to get these jokes. My god, they killed the collect- I've never seen that before. Yo. Valmont. Don't tell the devs though. Devs don't want to know. I mean, they do want to know. But we don't want the devs to know. Farewell. Farewell, chat. We're going back. <laughs> Anytime now. GG's.